Bowler Palace from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. The Bogor Palace, which translated to Indonesian as Istana Bogor and to Dutch language as Het Palace de Boetenzorg, is one of six presidential palaces of Indonesia. It is located in the city of Bogor, West Java. The palace is noted for its distinctive architecture and historical features, as well as the adjoining botanical gardens. Istana Bogor was opened to the public in 1968 to public tour groups, with the permission of then acting president of Indonesia, Suharto. The gardens of the palace covers an area of 284,000 square meters. During the colonial era, the palace became favorite residence of the governor's general due to Bogor's more adaptable climate. It was also favored by the late President Sukarno and became the official presidential residence until his downfall in 1967. The palace remained mostly unused until February 2015 when the new President Joko Widodo moved the president's office from Merdeka Palace to Bogor Palace. Section 1. History The original colonial building on the site of Istana Bogor was a mansion named Paitanjok, meaning without a care in Dutch, which dates back to 1745 as a country retreat for the Dutch governors to escape the heat and diseases of Batavia. The location for the new palace was discovered by Baron van Inhof on 10 August 1744 in a village named Kampung Baru. On the site he ordered a mansion to be built, however the construction wasn't completed by the end of his career in 1750 and thus it was continued by his preceder Jacob Mosel. An extensive renovation of the palace occurred under Governor General Herman Willem Dendels. The palace was further expanded into two floors with a new wing added in the east and west of the original structure. In 1811, Stamford Raffles led a successful invasion to Java and Britain took possession of the colony until 1816. Later, the new Governor General Baron van der Kapellen added a small gym on the roof of the main building and founded the botanical garden next to the palace ground. However, in 1834, an earthquake triggered by the volcanic eruption of Mount Salak heavily damaged the old palace of Baitanzog. The ruined palace was then demolished and rebuilt into its present form in 1856, this time with only one story instead of the original two, as a precaution against further earthquakes. From 1870 to 1942, the Istana Bogor served as the official residence of the Dutch Governor General. However, state affairs are still largely conducted in Batavia. Since its foundation, a total of 44 Governor General of the Dutch East Indies had resided in the palace. After the Indonesian independence, several features of the palace was renovated in 1952. Major changes include an additional porch at the main entrance and connecting corridors for the main buildings to its wings. The palace became the main residence of then-President Sukarno, 
but was later neglected by Suharto when he came to office. Section 2. Features The grounds of the estate contain several buildings. The largest are the Gedung Induk, or main palace, and its two wings. The main palace building contains private offices for the head of state, library, the dining room, theater room, the minister's waiting room, the Taratai room or the living room, and the Garuda room or the main reception hall. The two wing buildings located east and west of the main office. The eastern wing are used for foreign head of state's guest house. During the colonial period, this wing was used for the governor general's personal guests. While the western wing have two main rooms, one are used as guest house for the ministers who accompany the main guests during a state visit, and the other as a conference room. During the colonial period, this wing are used by the staffs of the governor general. The palace is decorated with an extensive art collection, which included 448 paintings, 216 sculptures, and 196 ceramics, 90% of which were accumulated by Sukarno. The original historic collection of the palace was looted by Japanese and Allied forces during World War II, leaving nothing but five mirrors in the palace. Other buildings in the palace include six pavilions, Pavilion Dia Bayurini, Pavilion Jodipati, Pavilion Amarta, Pavilion Madukara, Pavilion Pringondani, and Pavilion Duarawati. Pavilion Dia Bayurini was built in 1964 and is used by the head of state and his or her families during a stay in Bogor. The pavilion also includes a swimming pool. Other buildings are used as guest houses for government ministers and officials. There is also a multi-purpose building which was built in 1908. Section 2.1 Gardens The garden covers an area of 28.4 hectare and are adjacent to Kebun Raya Bogor or Bogor Botanical Garden. A herd of spotted deer can be spotted roaming around the palace garden, they are native to India and Nepal. The deers were originally brought by the Governor General Dandles for hunting and sport. There are many sculptures of various origin decorating the palace garden. Some of them are noteworthy. 1. Dhyani Bodhisatta from 9th century Central Java. Second, a replica of Hand of God by Carl Milles, a gift from Swedish government. Third, a replica of the Little Mermaid. And fourth, a replica of the Archer, made by Zygmunt Kispaludi Strobel in 1914. Section 3. Hotel Salak de Heritage In 1856, along with the rebuilding of the Bogor Palace, the Dutch government built a hotel to serve as a guest house in the Bogor Palace. The hotel was first named the Tibet Hotel for the founder, J. Tibet. The hotel was also once known as the Benenhof Hotel or Bellevue Hotel. During the Japanese occupation, the hotel was used as the Kempeitai headquarters or Japanese military police. After Indonesia's independence, 
The hotel was handed over to the Indonesian government and was renamed the Hotel Salak de Heritage after the name of Mount Salak, the largest mountain in Bogor. The word the heritage was used to express to the public that this hotel is indeed one of the heritages of the city of Bogor. Hotel Salak de Heritage is currently managed professionally with 120 rooms, 12 meeting rooms, 3 restaurants, the Kinanti Music Cafe, a swimming pool, and other facilities. Hotel Salak de Heritage is still preserved by the government as one of the historical witnesses supporting the existence of the Bogor Palace in particular and the long story of the city of Bogor. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0